Welcome to Pauley Pavilion. For the first time ever, the Kentucky Wildcats are playing in this building. Poitras, an excellent individual defender. He's an explosive athlete coming off ACL surgery last year. Alford with a three. Got it! 9-2 UCLA. Well, I think Steve Alford loves to see Alex Poitras pulling up for a jumper. He also loves Holiday banking one in for three. He's got not really used to driving it every time he touches it. A steal by Ulis and a great look ahead to Matthews. It's one of the reasons that UCLA has not been put in a position to foul is because Kentucky's not been as aggressive as normal. Alford with a quick release, knocks down the three. There's a screen for the screener. Inside, Bolden lays it in and a foul. John Calipari's got to be concerned. UCLA's playing well. UCLA is playing hard. I don't know. Hamilton pulls up at the free throw line and knocks it down. It's an 8-0 run for UCLA. And it's a timeout, Kentucky. Alford bounce pass. Parker strong to the rim. Counted and a foul. And now Kentucky extraordinarily young up front. Well, over LeBissier. Nice high-low between the big guys, and they are fired up here at Pauley Pavilion. Wide open, Aaron Holiday for three. Hawkins down to LeBissier, who just picked up his third foul at the other end of the floor. Remember, Poitras is on the bench with four. Risco with the shot clock running down, misses it. Hawkins on the offensive glass. And he's done a magnificent job on the defensive end as well. Hamilton, no. The save, and Alford tips it in to Welsh. Alford off balance, but he's got a lot of different shots in his bag. And the lead is up to 15. Eulis stops on a dime, misses the shot. Willis with a follow and a chance for three. Choose the Wildcats are facing. Ali! That one brought the house down. When you take the ball to the basket like that, your name is no longer going to be Prince. It's going to be King. <laughs> Did it go in? It went in. <laughs> it went in. Right. <laughs> Look at him. A bit of a delayed reaction from Prince Ali. For the first time in 12 years, UCLA has knocked off a number one team.